contact with the homeless woman. I was also inside the liquor store with this voice in my head said, Come on, it's the night before Thanksgiving, come on. I stopped and I turned to her. Can I get you anything? All she asked for was a bag of ice, and when I brought it to her, she thanked me. And then she said, I'm hoping to get a campsite nearby, and I just need three more dollars. Could you help with that, too? I handed her a five-dollar bill, figuring that as soon as I was out of view, that campsite would look a lot more like a bottle of booze. Then I caught myself. I realized I can't judge this woman. If I judge her, no matter what I give to her, I'm going to be a penny short here, you know. Walking out of that same liquor store with my buddy Jimmy. I saw this woman again. I invited her inside to get some food and she picked out a few things and then she said, Could I get something to drink too? Of course, be my guest. That's what I said. But what I thought was, Go ahead, get some booze. I knew you would. What did she do? Could she get some malt liquor, or maybe some of the cheap red wine that comes in the big jug, or maybe some top shelf vodka? No, she did nothing of the sort. She hit it straight for the stale coffee, muttering, I can sure use a cup of joe. <laughs> I'm not homeless. <laughs> Her items totaled up to $8.12, and I realized I forgot my wallet at Jimmy's house. I had some change, a couple ones, maybe a five, and $8.12. $8.12. I pulled out everything I had. $8.11. He handed it to the woman. She didn't care about the missing penny. But I care. Because there's a part of me that fears I will always be a penny short. 